Hi guys, it's Gary from Screams and Thrills. So we've came back down to Stokesley High Street for day two of the pull on and build up of Stokesley Fair for the Stokesley Show. Um, the high street is now closed off. The road is now closed off from the roundabout with North Road. So the high street from North Road up over is no longer accessible to vehicles other than showman's vehicles. Um, already we've spotted a few new arrivals, including Stealth Bomber, the booster that has returned this year. It's just in a new position. So we'll have a wander down and see what else is pulled on. It's decided to be built up. The fair does open tomorrow. So we'll see how things are progressing. So same as yesterday, we've started at the top end and we're going to work our way down back towards North Street but this top end so far not much change still got inflatables to be set up there got food stalls etc and the little chair swings and on this side we've still got the big wheel set up there has been two more rides pulled on but i'm not too sure whether they're going to be set up or not which is a pirate ship and a mini ski jump and um, it's a, like a frozen mini ski jump um and again we've got the mini miami on this side by o'brien the only slight differences we've got down here is we've got two more things pulled on we've got the Bavarian grill pulling on which doesn't look like it's been in its position yet considering it's still attached to its van and we've got a trailer down here as well which I'm not too sure what's on that so I can probably imagine it'll be either inflatables or possibly the um like inflatable bumper cars And behind that, you've got the toy set that we've seen yesterday. And we've got the Ice Dragon coaster. Looks like it's pretty much fully set up. Might have an odd few little bits left to do on that. I notice it's got, not got its top sign up at the moment, but the vast majority of it's all set up. We've got a new food stall pulled on. And then we've got Wilkinson's Dodgems pretty much set up now, doing the final touches to it. And on the opposite side, we've got some more juvenile swings, and we've got a football side stall. <coughs> so we'll pull it onto opposite to the Dodgems. We have what looks like a game stall, possibly. Pulling on. Looks like they've not long pulled on, so a bit unusual, bit unknown what it is at the moment. And then we've got another catering van pulling on. So we've got another game stall pulled on at that side. Like I said yesterday, along this middle section where there was hardly anything yesterday, it's a lot of your game stalls and food outlets which we've got food outlet pulled on just behind us twisted potatoes and, we, and we've got what looks like a set of mini frogs and another helter skelter we've seen this helter skelter quite a few times now food outlets pulling on Are you not gonna change yourself? Change yourself? another food outlet more of your sweet stall And 
then we've got Jamaica Extreme XXL Miami pretty much fully set up got churros stand we'll get a quick look at the uh, Jamaica Miami so that's pretty much set up now it's just really it's aesthetics now to do on that the lighting signage over the other side we have a fun house I think that is and another toy set carousel Yeah, I believe that fun house is fun fair crazy fun house, I believe. And we've got another fun house next to that. So here we have a, the fun house pulling on. Not too sure what this part of it is, but it looks like it's another attraction by the same showman. Could be a game stall or it could be a fun house. Another fun house. We've got a food outlet pulling on. We've got another toy set carousel setting up. So now we've got Jamie Clark's Super Bowl fully set up now. It's quite amazing how close they get these rides to these buildings without causing any damage. So along this side, we've got nothing at the moment here, but I can imagine there's probably some side stalls being built up along here. And we've got another fun house being put into position. So in the middle, here we've got the fun house by Douse Events. Then we've got the Crooked Cottage fun house as well by Freeman's. A bit more food outlets. We've got Formula Fun. Looks like a toy set carousel. Then we've got King Swing. Then we've got another Mini Miami, Toy Story Mini Miami pulling on. More catering outlets. Freeman's Waltzer. Gallagher's Twister. Which is almost fully set up. Just a few bits left to do on that, a few cars to put on. And over this side we've got more game stalls being set up by Cubbins Games to Play. Off in the background we have Stealth Bomber. Then we've got Joker set of frogs by Lincoln Gore.
We need a closer look at the stealth bomber. And a little bit of information about the stealth bomber here. So 132 foot and travels at 70 miles per hour. And then we've got Alan Crow's Dodgems, all set up and ready to go. With its top flash all set up now. So off to this side here, we've got some game stores being set up by Cubbins. Some bungee trampolines being set up as well, and we have a ghost train. Not overly too sure which ghost train this one is, but I'll try and find out. So we've got a small juvenile pirate ship set up and food stall in the same place as yesterday. And then on the opposite side, we've got a teacups, which I believe is Billy Crows. Then we've got King Frog, almost complete. And then we've got another toy set carousel. We've got King Frogs, like I said, nearly fully set up. Top sign up. And then behind King Frogs, we've got Wilmot's Air Raid. Fully set up now. It's full queuing system. All its arms set up. Backflash, fully up. Really does look magnificent, this machine looks a lot better than the original air raid it's more themed to the military style aircrafts and it looks like he's got on the top there as well a moving head searchlight type lighting should be quite interesting to see And then next up we've got the Odin Tagada and Crow's Energy Storm Malta. Just getting some final bits done to it. And off to the side of King Frogs, we've got a Hooker Duck and Turner's Experience Miami, which is yet to be set up. To be fair, Miami's don't really tend to take that long to set up. And then next to that, we have a food outlet. And then we have Helter Skelter by Hancock's Amusements and we've got Exciter getting a nice jet wash and we've got John Murphy Jr's Dodgems 
all set up and ready to go. And behind these dodgings we have two more rides that's pulled on. We have Jamie Clark's Disco Twist, which is yet to be set up. It's yet to be unhooked, to be totally honest. And then we've got the Crazy Bulls. So on our way back down, we've noticed that the ghost train has started to get set up and you can now see a lot more of the detail of it. And we found out that this one's owned by Aaron Holland. And you've got some bungee trampolines being set up there as well. So as we have a wonder back up to the top of the high street, we can see some food places have been put into place. We've got another penalty show out game stall. Crooked cottages in place. There's a fun house being put in place. All still yet to be set up. Toy Story Miami's been put in place now. A little mini Miami for the kids. This one's by Hancock's Amusements again. And then, as I suspected, there's game stalls being set up in this middle section opposite Super Bowl. And a little dining area. And the frozen mini ski jump that we've seen up at the very top has now been pulled into position along with some trampolines. There's a toy set carousel being put in. And then we've got the Jamaica XXL Extreme Miami set up with its lights on the top, sorry. Fun fair crazy fun house still to be set up. The good thing about coming when the road's closed off is we've got a bit more freedom to move around as long as we're cautious of obviously moving vehicles and rides being moved around. So like we've got some more bungee trampolines being set up here as well. We've got hel Hel Skelter being set up. And we've got another game stall being set up. And we've got more game stalls. Thank you. 
We spotted another juvenile ride being pulled on. So that wraps up our little walk around of a build up and pull on video for Stokesley. The next time we will be visiting will be when it is open to the public, which is tomorrow it opens. Um, I will put the opening times on your screen now and also on your screen you'll see when the road closures are as well just so you can plan your journeys around Stokesley High Street so yeah Stokesley Fun Fair is open from tomorrow the 18th until Sunday the 22nd um, with Stokesley Show on Saturday the 21st. So if you're looking for a fun fair in the Stokesley area, pop on down, plenty of selection of rides for both young and old. So pop on down, show your support to the showman as after all it is the uh, World Fun Fair Month. So come down, show your support to the showman as always we don't know what the prices of the rides are at the moment we won't know that until the actual fun fair opens but as always they do accept card but they do prefer cash um so if you're coming down try and bring cash if you can obviously if you can't the vast majority of them do accept card payments but i will stress that some of them do not accept card payments some of them are literally cash only so just be wary um so yeah that's everything from me today so if you've liked these little videos consider subscribing if you haven't already hit that like button share with your friends go and give us a follow on facebook as well instagram tiktok um and we'll see you in the next one